so in this chapter these are the contents we are supposed to learn introduction to transmission lines what are the types of transmission lines and the transmission line parameters uh, primary parameters and secondary parameters uh, then transmission line equation then the characteristics of transmission line impedance uh, expression for propagation constant phase and group velocities then infinite line concepts reflection coefficient and distortion in transmission lines and what is the condition for minimum attenuation and then loading of transmission lines like loading coils loading practices and the last topic is mic chart and its properties let us now go go through the introduction so naturally the energy can be transmitted by the radiation of free electromagnetic waves basically these electromagnetic waves are used to transmit energy so as the energy is transmitting from these now energy can be carried in various conductor arrangements known as transmission lines so a transmission line is a medium that is used to conduct energy transmission line can also be used as a circuit elements like uh, inductors capacitors resonant circuits filters transformers and even insulators at high frequencies so in the introduction we do discuss why we naturally go for transmission lines let me say you at low frequencies an electrical circuit is completely characterized by the electrical parameters like resistance inductance etc and the physical size of these electrical components plays no role in the circuit analysis so circuit analysis is sufficient enough to describe the concepts at low frequencies but as the frequency increases the size of the components becomes very very important and critical at that instant of time the space parameter is taken into account and this space comes into account and the circuit and the performance of that circuit is going to be studied in terms based on the space so <clears throat> the two parameters called voltage and current exist in the form of waves now even a small change in the length of a simple connecting wire may alter the behavior of that particular circuit so the circuit approach then has to be reinvestigated since the circuit approach is not suitable at greater frequencies because a small change in the connection or the length of the components will affect largely therefore a new approach came into picture that approach is transmission line approach in this transmission line approach one can divide this entire emtl electromagnetic sum into two parts one is static electromagnetics and the other one is time varying electromagnetics as will be clearly subsequently the time varying electric and magnetic fields always constitute a wave phenomena called electromagnetic waves which is the prime subject and discussion what we do here means electromagnetic waves are taken as taken as the basic thing basic element here and energy is carrying from one point to other point with the means of electromagnetic waves and those electromagnetic waves plays a vital role here now the phenomena of electromagnetism is in totality is governed by four maxwell's equations which can be derived from the physical laws like uh, we already discussed the gauss law ampere's law faraday's law of electromagnetic induction in the previous classes so the electromagnetic theory is the generalization of the circuit theory or the circuit theory is rather a special case of electromagnetic theory as the frequency increases the inadequacy of the circuit approach is felt at one is forced to follow the electromagnetic field approach